Hey gang, Richard here along with Brian and Jess. And we are here to wish you the happiest of holidays and a prosperous 2020 coming up real soon. We're on hiatus right now, um, but that doesn't mean we're not coming back. Our first show back in the new year will be on the 8th of January, the first Wednesday, or second Wednesday in January. And uh, we just thought we'd come on and, and let you guys know that uh, we appreciate everything that you've done for us this past year in 2019. Our audience has grown immensely. Right, Brian? Has it? Yes. I thought the numbers were going down, but that's, that's no. me. I don't know. That's only when you do episodes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Or when hey. I do episodes. No, when you do episodes, they skyrocket. I've never done an episode. Yes, you have. One. You did one of the most important ones this year. The Predator? The Predator build. Uh, that's right. Yes, you did the Predator build, and people want to see more of you building. I don't know. And making. What do you think? Should we get Jess? Hashtag Jess as a maker. Do it. Do it, yes. Do it. Do, do it. <laughs> so, we want to wish you guys the very best in 2020. We've got a lot of great shows planned for you in this coming year. I know 2019 was a rough year for us here, and I'm sure it was a rough year for you guys out in our audience. Uh, and we do, uh, we're so glad that you, you stuck with us throughout the year. We're doing this kind of impromptu, so there's no script, no nothing. So, Brian, what was your favorite part of 2019 for the show? Out buying printers on you? <laughs> I, I bought too many printers this year. That's, that's, that's looking back. Um, favorite? I, you know, doing the live streams this year was a lot of fun, and, uh, you know, I fell a bit off the rails. I didn't realize how much I appreciated it until I was stuck half a year away, basically. So, yeah, doing the live streams was kind of my highlight. And we're going to be doing a lot more live streams in the new year. They are coming back. They're coming back on Saturday nights, the second Saturday, starting the second Saturday in January. Mm -hmm. And we are going to try and do them every Saturday throughout the year 2020. We've got some New Year's resolutions, but first I want to know what Jess liked most about our show this year getting over camera shyness getting over camera and recording the predator episode that. guys it's 2019 we got our eyes yes <laughs> <laughs> hold on i can't see you there we go it's i promise i will not add lasers to this shot <laughs> that was the original plan though we were gonna play a prank on everybody and do like I, I, cyclops do you like cyclops I, yeah now that we've ruined that for mm -hmm. you happy christmas that was the original April Fools. We've plan. got what do we got planned in the new year? We're gonna finish some stuff. Mm -hmm. This year we promise we're gonna finish some stuff. Brian and Jess are making me finish some stuff. Yes. We're gonna crack the whip on him a little harder. And you know what? Post in the comments, take a guess on what you think we are gonna force him to finish first. Speaking of comments, <laughs> I wanna ask you, all of our viewers, those that are not subscribed yet, I really hope we can get you to subscribe this year. I want to ask you guys that watch this show religiously, what do you want to see us do, or what do you want to see us tackle in 2020? Uh, I know there's been some questions regarding some of our, our previous episodes um, regarding filament, when we did the Graf's Milk filament, that one comes to, to mind. Yes, Graf's Milk is available all over the world now. Um, there's some questions regarding our latest episode, which was the filament runout sensor done by this guy. <laughs> uh, we're going to do some more in-depth stuff on Cura now that Cura 2.0 has been officially released. Marlin. 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 Yes, Marlin 2.0. No, you know what? There will be a new Cura version, I'm sure, in the yes. next couple of weeks. There always um, is. Cura 4.4, we're going to do some more Cura tutorials here in the new year as well. Uh, we may open up to doing some uh, private sessions um, just to help support the channel. Speaking of supporting the channel, you can go check out our Teespring store. Grab yourself a, a t-shirt. This is one of our old designs, but uh, our new design is just amazing. You get it in black, purple, and gray. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of set changing this year. Um, we actually may be moving locations this year as well. So we may not be stuck in a little tiny room. We may be in a much bigger room to do this. Um, but hey... Before we go any further, what was your favorite moment of this year? Wow, I have so many. <laughs> there are a lot of things I really had fun did, with Did this it have year. something to do with the day that Brian got stuck in Ontario so you could actually get some work done? No, actually. I, no. There, I, there's a lot of a lot of things that, that made me proud this year. 
Um, one of the videos that actually I didn't do, uh, Brian, you did, oh, which yes. was on the Creosa mod. Only to be outdated within three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that showed me, and I think it showed all of us, that we can do content that nobody's tackled yet. Mm -hmm. And we got on board before anybody else did, and we really got the views from it, and it was amazing. Yes, there was a lot of controversy about some of the stuff that we did this year. Um, I am going to be starting the new year with a whole back to basics again, because we've got a lot of brand new people that watch the show that will be getting 3D printers for Christmas. So we are going to tackle some Cura, we're going to tackle some minor updates. I've got a pretty much a virgin 3D printer right here, an Ender 3 Pro, that really hasn't had anything done to it, except for the extruder has been upgraded uh, to the uh, aluminum one, but we're going to talk more about that. We've got some new stuff coming from uh, other companies as well. We are changing our format a little bit when it comes to building 3D printers. Um, we're not going to do builds anymore. Um, we are going to do a beginning, a middle, and an end. Mm -hmm. And the beginning is what's in the box, the middle is it's already built, and the end will be what we think about it and how it printed, and you're gonna see more of that. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna see more time-lapse videos this year, this coming year. I sold them on time-lapses, finally. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start doing a lot more time-lapses. We're gonna dive into resin pretty heavy this year. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, because we both have resin printers, actually all three of us have resin printers, because well, I mean, you two are together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the other favorite thing I, I, I got to say about this year is that these two got together finally. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're in trouble now. No, oh, no, no. Uh, no. I, I played matchmaker. You really did. Yeah. Our story is, like, the best. How did you meet your, your partner? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. Hey, hey, back in our day, it was like Nexopia and all yeah. that. So MySpace. It doesn't sound any better there. See, back in my day, it was, you know, who's in the laundry room? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that just sounded kind of creepy. But anyway, <laughs> so so this is how Richard met his wife. You know, actually, I met my wife <laughs> at what is now my mother-in-law's place because my mother-in-law was my landlord. Oh, and oh, that this is turning out to be a great story. How the rent was paid. And my <laughs> wife, <in> the base, <laughs> the woman who is now my wife, Jerry, was my next-door neighbor. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a pizza story. No, it was sharing my cable with her. <laughs> yes, I do know. I do know the story very. And well. that's not a euphemism. <laughs> so, from all of us here at the First Layer, Spool 3D Canada, and from everything that we do behind the scenes, we all want to wish you all together a very, very merry, merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> like, I love. Are we great for coordination? Yeah. Okay. And, and you know, with that, closing out the year, I wanted to thank all of our fans who have come forward and engaged with us, because without you guys, we're just a bunch of people rambling in a room with equipment. So, you know, uh, you know, special thanks to uh, Tim O'Coin for this great... Uh, 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 there we go. Yeah. Christmas saying it right there, if you can't read it there. There you go. There you go. Yeah, should be fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm putting my head back now. Um... We've had some great people become part of our family, mm -hmm. um, and we consider our entire community, both on Facebook and on YouTube, as part of our uh, First Layer family, and uh, you guys make it worth doing videos each and every week, so um, get my butt in gear and come in here on a Saturday and record a bunch of videos for you, and we're going to continue to do that, and we'll have some great videos for you guys in the new year. So. To y'all, we'll see you in 2020, and have yourselves a wonderful and happy Christmas. We'll see you next year. Bye, everybody.